Hola and welcome to episode 31 of Pool Plays in Portugal. Today is huge because we're going to be playing our first Champions League match and we're away from home against Roma. Really, really tough group we've got, as you can see here, Barcelona, Roma and Red Bull Salzburg. They're the best chance we're going to get any points. We might be able to scrape third place, but no way in a million years are we going to beat Barcelona with Messi. They've still got Messi or Roma, surely. I mean, they're, they're a top, top team as well. But Salzburg, there's, there's an opportunity here possibly to get a win against the Austrian outfit. We'll give it our best shot anyway. Um, but it's just an incredible achievement to actually make it into the Champions League. And I just want us to put up some fight, play our usual attack in football and just go for it because that's what we love to do. We love to attack, don't we? I haven't made any additions to the team since the last episode. No more transfers. A couple players have gone out on, like four players have gone out on loan, some youngsters. I've actually promoted a couple youngsters to the first team. Uh, Lugginia, a uh, Portuguese 18-year-old, he's a target man and I feel like he's a good option to come off the bench if I really need a goal. So he might he might pop up on the bench every now and then instead of Stanley. Um, we've also promoted, is that ever, maybe that's the only player I've promoted actually. Of course, we've got Karubo, we've got N. Carnasho as well. But I'm pretty happy with the team. I did forget to mention that Wayne Rooney has retired, which is why he's not at the club anymore. His contract was gonna run out, run out anyway, but he has retired from football. And we're going strong in the league. As you can see, we are top of the table. We have played five games, which is one more than Benfica. We have lost against Benfica. We've returned to our usual usual standard against them. We got a penalty win in the last episode, but in the league, we did lose against them, which I'll show you in a second. But as you can see, Lopez top goal score of five goals. And that's only actually in two league games because he picked up an injury for four weeks after that. And he's only going to play his first game. Since his second since the second league game of the season today against Roma, Stanley has come in off the bench a couple times and scored three goals, which is amazing. Well done to Stanley, still scoring goals for us four seasons in. So I'll just show you the most recent results. So we, we started the season with a 2-0 away win against Alves. Franco Lopez with two goals. Really good performance from him, 9.0. And, of course, we beat Porto. We always beat Porto. It's generally a goal-heavy game. It's another 4-2 win. Lopez with a hat-trick and David Silva with his first ever goal for the club coming off the bench. Really good stuff from him. They did get a couple goals. They actually opened the scoring. But, wow, once again, we beat Porto. And we, we love to score goals, don't we? We then beat Firenze 3-1. Pedro Sarr with a fantastic strike. And Stanley came off the bench to score twice in a minute. I'll just show you this Pedro Sar goal though because it was very, very good. I just, why is it so far? Why is the highlight so long? Let's go and find it. So Wellington involved, it's headed away and Pedro Sar, boom, left foot, smashed into the back of the net. Marcel still, was still playing at centre back at this point because Vinicius and Palm Brown still at the Olympics. They are back now. Stanley came off the bench and scored two goals, which was brilliant to see. Let's have a look at these two goals then. He just he just pops up every now and then and scores a bunch. I remember he always used to get his goals in twos before, didn't he? That's a really good finish for the first. And then a minute later, literally from kickoff, this highlight, he, he scored a second and, and comfortably put a 3-0 up. They did get a goal back, but I do love Stanley. He's been a favourite of mine in this series and still scoring goals. And this was another... Another really good finish, actually. Look at that. Keeper got a hand to it, but couldn't keep it out. So we won 3 1. But we returned to our usual ways against Benfica with a 3 1 defeat. Stanley scored again, though. A consolation goal in the 82nd minute. They did have a player sent off, so I was trying to push forwards, but they, they managed to get a penalty and then he stuck it away. So that was a bit disappointing. Uh, Georgian, our PSG right back really bad performance but it was a bad performance from everyone to be honest but we returned to winning ways against Belenenses who I think we've beaten in every single game this this series Wellington opened the score in it after two minutes Ivanic who's had a poor season up to this point managed to get a goal and Rui Costa in for the injured Lopez managed to get his first goal of the season as well but Bruno Tabata picked up a knock we do have a couple of injuries Bruno Tabata's out uh, Lugginia is obviously out as you can see there Lamas is just coming back Lopez has literally just come back and he's ready, just about, to take on Roma. So this is the team I'm, I'm playing. Lecomte is still our number one. He's dislodged Ferreira. 
and he seems to be doing pretty well. There was actually a bid for him. Um, Man City want him, which is really, really weird. I, I don't know why they want him. I'm guessing as a backup. Must be as a backup, surely, uh, to Edison. Ah, it might be because Joe Hart's injured, possibly. Um, but yeah, no way. <laughs> no way am I going to sell him when he's just got into uh, the team. I mean, if they bid, bid something ridiculous, then obviously I would. But obviously the transfer window has ended now. And... Uh, He's our number one, but there's still a chance that Ferreira can reclaim his number one spot if Lecomte p performs badly. But he obviously was our penalty hero in the last episode. Georgian keeps his right at his place at right back. He's not had a great start to his Porto Menense career. Vinicius has moved back into centre back since coming back from his international duty with the Brazil under 23s. I'm going to try and make him work with Possignola. I'm determined to. Because on paper, he is our best centre-back. Attributes-wise, my assistant thinks he's our best centre-back. But it, for whatever reason, it didn't work out for him last season, really. But I'm going to give him a go. If it, if it doesn't work out, we've got Palmer Brown as backup. Marcel can play there, of course. So there are options. Uh, Posignolo alongside him. Luciano at left-back. Marcel is back in defence midfield. Ivanic in the middle because Lamas is injured. Wellington, David Silva... And Nakajima playing behind Lopez. Let's be honest, this is likely. It's very likely to be a loss. And I've just realised you haven't really seen me score in an episode for a while. Because in the last episode we won on penalties. The cup final was a defeat against Benfica without scoring. The previous episode to that was a 2-0 defeat against Alves. You haven't seen me score for ages. And I really hope we can score today. But it's going to be really tough against a strong um, Roma team. Their main man is a striker, a regen striker from Colombia, on loan from Monaco. I don't know if they've put out their first choice team. They do have Streetman, who is their key man, according to the game. Uh, on the right wing, they've got Jadis, support He's Portuguese. And on the left, they've got a Brazilian who's got one cap for Brazil. So he must be pretty decent to get at least one cap. Um, the defence looks good, and they've got a quality Italian goalkeeper. Uh, but it's not... I, th I think it's beatable. Well, we're, we're going to give it our best shot. We'll play our usual style of play. It's worked well this season, apart from against Benfica in the league. We're the Portuguese champions. I trust them to, to, to do me proud. Lopez is back, which is great to see. He's already got five goals this season, and they were only in two games as well. So... Yeah, looking forward to this. It's our first foray into the Champions League. We played in the Europa League last year. It was a bit disappointing. But in the end, I think us being knocked out was a blessing and enabled us to win the league. Marcel heads that corner away. And that is, what is this highlight? <laughs> Eventually, David Silva, his old legs, charges after it. That was really strange that no one else went after that ball. Oh, he's still going, David Silva. Finds Nakajima. That Champions League experience from David Silva could be vital for the next few games. I'm looking forward to this. is a strange highlight. It's just finally got going. Roma uh, give the ball away, though, to Nakajima. He's not had a great start to the, the season. He had a really good start to the season last year and ended badly, but he seems to have carried on from where he left off, unfortunately, this season. Even it's great ball to Wellington, who's round the back, and he really should be scoring from there. He's just hit it into the goalkeeper's legs, who didn't even dive. Oh, Wellington, you do frustrate me sometimes. Here's David Silva in a pocket of space. Back to Marcel. The Brazilian plays it through to Lopez, who can't win that. He's just muscled out of out of it, really, against two strong Roma defenders. And now they're coming forward, looking to keep possession. They're not really going very far. They're staying in their own half, not looking forward, to, look, not looking forward really. Look at this. They're just keeping. This is boring play, but they eventually might have an opportunity here. Here comes the Brazilian Gustavo, who puts a, a cross in. Vinicius heads away, but Strutman picks it up. Pellegrini, come on guys, get in there, win it back. But it's 1-0, what a strike. That was coming, that was patient build-up play from Roma. That must be their style of play. We're all about bang, 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 wallop and uh, getting up the pitch. But they just patiently built it up until they eventually had a shot. It was a great goal in the end. It wasn't like they passed it into the back of the net. Here they come again, looking dangerous once more. Uh, we've... We've done all right. We've we've actually had the clear cut chance. Wellington really should have scored that. I don't understand. And I, 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 I'm trying to talk. I don't understand how he could miss really from there. It was harder to hit it straight at the goalkeeper 
in my in my eyes but there we go oh they found some space down the left hand side this is going to be two i think it's crossed in and it is it's all over already and now it's a corner crossed in headed away david silver can't win it and counter he's oh it's just wide he's dangerous that gustavo chap maybe i should have set up like i did in the benfica game at the start of the season uh but i don't know here's nakajima lopez can we get a goal before the end of the half lopez goes round and shoots and uh should have waited for support really and passed it not great and that's bashed up the pitch Here's Posignolo, Nakajima back over the top for Lopez. He's through. Lopez, you have to finish this. Lopez. Why can't we score on camera at the moment? I don't know what's going on. We've had opportunities today, but we haven't taken them. We could be. It should be 2-2. We've had two clear-cut chances. We can't really complain about not creating anything here. We have, but it's just not being good enough in front of goal. And that's really annoying. And there's let us down on quite a few occasions in the series, I guess. I mean, we do either seem to find it very easy to find the back of the net or then struggle. It's just polar opposites. It's very frustrating. Barcelona 3-0 up against Salzburg, by the way. Here's Posignolo. Back to Luciano. Finds Nakajim. We've played well going forward. Here's Lopez again. Still going. Ah, uh, tackled. He had no support next to him. That's the problem with playing one up front as a Treco Artista, I guess. It's all about him trying to create something from nothing. And, oh, Georgian is getting murdered down the right-hand side and somehow they miss. I'm not sure what to do. I'm just going to carry on the way I am, I think. Oh, Luciano having a poor game at left back as well. I'm going to bring on Fernando Silva. We've got the two PSG guys on opposite sides here. And Lopez, he's let me down, but I still feel like there's a goal in him. David Silva's knackered. I'm going to bring on... I don't know. I, really, I don't know what to do. Uh, in fact, I'm going to throw Nani on the, on the left, and Nakajima's going to play behind. We've not played that badly. They have... I don't know. They've, they've made me a proud a little bit in terms of creating chances, but Wellington and Lopez have missed... Glorious opportunities. And here's Wellington again with his pace running through. <sighs> he had support coming up then. He didn't need to shoot. If I say work ball into box, perhaps that will stop these players from shooting. Although Wellington and Lopez had great opportunities in the box, it doesn't make much difference. Nakajima, Wellington, back to Ivanic. Ivanic, Nani. Oh, dear. What is going on in front of goal? When am I going to score in an episode next? I don't know. Well, it's not going to happen next since Barcelona. Only one match today. I'm just trying to keep the episodes relatively short and sweet just to keep them fresh. As my phone twangs away. Oh, and Wellington's got injured just to make matters worse. Potential knee injury. Well, we're throwing Stanley on on the right hand side. Well, it's a bad day at the office. Uh, Encouraging that we've created opportunities against Roma, but and we we stopped them from creating opportunities as well. They've just taken two chances that weren't actually clear-cut chances. We could have won this game on another day, so I'm not going to be too harsh on the guys. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to be nice, and they've switched off. Oh, Wellington's only out for one to three days. It's not the end of the world, but yeah, another loss, another two-nil loss. We, the lot, not obviously the last episode we did win against Benfica on penalties, but prior to that, two episodes in a row, two 0 no losses. When's the curse going to end, guys? Can we beat? No, oh, we're not going to beat Barcelona. Can we score against Barcelona? Uh, in fact, we'll show. I'm, go, I'm just to try and end the curse. I'm going to take on Pacos de Ferreira, 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 who have been promoted once again to the top flight. I'm going to take on them and Barcelona in the next episode. So we'll have two matches. Uh, so just the Boa Vista match to play behind the scenes, just to try and prove that I can still win. <laughs> I need to win. I need to score. Uh, but until next time, enjoy FM18. Have a good day. I'll see you very soon.